Okay, in this video, we'll be doing a GitHub fork and then do a clone in VS Code via the extension. Okay, when you go to your Git, the GitHub website in the URL that you want to clone, and you do a fork, you click on the fork. What this will do is it will copy the repository into your account. So in this case, this will be going into your account. Okay, so once the fork is done, then this will be your URL to copy. So this will be your username in GitHub. Go to your VS Code and do a command palette. Go to git clone then enter the URL. So this will be your account. So save it into the local workspace, then open it. Okay, so this will be under your username then it's forked from the original source. Okay, so once it has been cloned, it will appear in your VS Code. Let's try making some edits. Once you made some edits, there will be a one that appears here, indicating that there are some uh, updates. You click on it and then you can do a message updated. Then press enter. Oops, press the tick sign to commit. So you can click yes to stage the change and commit. Okay, if you see this error, means that you need to configure the username and user ID in Git. Click on the open git log. This will show you what you need to do. So this is the command you need to execute. Okay, you can execute these commands in the terminal. Okay, once you have entered the two commands here in the terminal, you can try to commit again. Click yes. And it will change to sync changes. Click on it to push the change to the server. Okay, if you ask you to sign in, you can proceed to sign in to connect to GitHub. Okay, the web browser will open this link and then proceed to authorize. Okay, so authentication has been successful and you see that the sync changes has completed. Okay, let's go to the browser to see the updates, whether line 17 has been updated. Okay, in the browser, we can refresh Okay, currently the readme.md does not have the line 17 yet. So when we refresh, we should see the latest updates. Okay, so in this video, we managed to do a fork. We forked from an original repository, and then did a git clone in VS Code, made an update, line 17, and then push the updates back into the GitHub server. And then when we refresh the page, we see the updates we have done in VS Code. So this is one way to store your work on the GitHub server.